Ladies and gentlemen, another title fight on the card. Our co-main event of the evening. This is a 170 pound MMA fight. Our first fighter coming to you out of the Dynamic Mortgage Concepts Red Corner. Welcome to the cage, Zarek Jackson. The 170 pound title fight opponent fighting out of the Larry H. Miller Nissan Blue Corner. Welcome to the cage, Sterling Pete. Gentlemen, 170 pound title fight action in our co main event of the evening at Sparta Combat League 71. Mr. Zarek Jackson facing off against his opponent, Mr. Sterling Peak. Jackson is the fighter that's Squatting down right now, Peak is the fighter that's standing. They're both wearing white gloves. They're both wearing black and red. We'll say uh, Mr. Peak wearing the Sparta Combat League trunks as a differentiation. Oscar Martinez, he's in the black and white. That's easy to see. Jackson on the left of your screen. Peak on the right. Here we go. Co-main event action. Sparta Combat League 71. Jackson, the taller fighter, so we assume has the reach advantage. He 
Meeks missed with a couple of kicks so far, having a hard time getting his distance figured out yet. Jackson with a nice counter kick. Step back, got out of the way of his opponent's strike, and then his forward step was a striking attack that landed well, and another hard one comes up the middle for Jackson. Seems to be a little bit more mobile of the two. Or excuse me, Jackson, my mistake there. Jackson trying to move his feet forward with his punches. One, it covers the range. Two, it adds a little bit of power. Peak read the technique. Able to evade. <clears throat> Seeing Peak switching stances here a couple of times. Jackson again, nice with the footwork. Backs right out of range after throwing his attack. Doesn't stand there where Peak can counter. Peak, the shorter of the two fighters, and wow. Legs on peak, just really solidly built. <laughs> Neither fighter seeming to have any interest in the ground yet. Basically, Muay Thai with four ounce gloves. And folks, that's a tough way to make a living, I tell you what. And second clacker. And neither fighter really stepping forward with a flurry here. So it's kind of a anticlimactic end, round number one. One more time, we'd like to thank Saratoga Casino tonight. Our sponsor over in Blackhawk, they provide a great casino experience. Make sure to go check it out. That's Saratoga Casino. We'd also like to thank our Blue Corner sponsor, Larry H. Miller, tonight on 104th. Make sure to go over there, test drive some cars. If you're looking for a used or new vehicle, Larry H. Miller Nissan has you covered. We're checking out the replay here. Not tons of action in round number one. Basically a feeling out round. and. This guy's trying to judge the distance. Peak did not have as good of a read on the distance as the round progressed, as did Jackson. So I'd say advantage Jackson for round number one, but that's just my opinion. Put no weight behind that. Fight! <laughs> Peak, just right, left, right, left, sprinting across the cage. Jackson receives him, gets the clinch, works the takedown. We said in round one, nobody had any interest in the ground. Here they are early in the second. See what Peak's able to offer up off of his back, has his guard closed right now, does Peak. Shows that he's just gonna work to hold position. Can't be very offensive with your guard being in the closed position, so. Just trying to shut down what might be the attacking prowess of Mr. Jackson from the top position. And Jackson trying to create some distance here, give himself ability to use those strikes a little more powerfully than he is when he's pulled down here. Open guard now for Jackson, or Peak, excuse me. See if Peak starts to spin, try to set up an arm bar here, tries to feed an arm through for a triangle. Solid body shots coming down for Jackson. As long as he keeps busy with those, that's something that'll let the referee keep the fight remaining down here. 
And looking to pass guard there is Jackson, better position. And both legs over now, full mount with an arm trap for Jackson. I was just about to say he's gonna be able to go to work with the ground and pound, but look at Peak scramble. Well done by Peak to get this fight back to standing. Jackson gets the turn on the takedown, ends up in top position. Peak had initiated that takedown. Good awareness by Jackson. Nice footwork, nice balance. And again, full mount for Jackson. He got in a little bit of a hurry when he had mount before. Solid shots right to the center of the face there from Jackson. Peak eating some hard shots. Good back control for Jackson. Has both hooks in, see if he can feed those hooks backward and stretch out his opponent. And there it is, has him flat. This is a bad position for Peak. Peak wants his knees under him, but this choke is in tight. That solid position there for Mr. Jackson. See if he's able to close it off. Peak trying to turn his shoulders, trying to push the elbow. And my goodness, it seems like Peak must be breathing out his ears. Holy cow. Jackson continues the ride as the 10 second clacker sounds. Solid positioning for Jackson. Great ground and pound, but eight, unable to get a finish in round two. We want to take a second to thank Code 4 Security for providing secure and safe environment tonight. That's Code 4 Security. Thank you for keeping us safe tonight. Here we're seeing on the replay where Peak basically sprinted across the cage a la Vitor Belfort against Anderson Silva in the early UFC. And Jackson able to receive him, grab the clinch, and get the turn. And from there, the takedown started. On the ground, it was advantage Jackson. Third round of our 170 pound title fight. Oscar Martinez waits for the cage door to be closed and here we go. Punchy kicky chokey time. Jackson looking very confident coming out, throws the flying knee, landed well to the body peak. Took it seemingly unfazed. And a flash the head kick is Jackson. Peak looking to wrap up head control. Jackson fighting the hands, two on one wrist control. I was gonna say, see what Jackson does to get himself off the cage and throws the right hand, snaps back the head of Peak, but Peak. Right back in on solid head control. Tries to go to guard, not able to get it. We talked about it earlier. You need to have both legs around the hips of your opponent in order for this to be an optimum position. Jackson gonna try to bring that right leg out. Oh, pops his head free. Peek doing a good job getting his knees and his feet underneath him. Wants to bring it back up to his standing. Jackson wanted to go to back control there. Good job by Pete, keeping his hips pinned against the cage so he could turn in and basically scrape Jackson off. Not sure how it came through on the broadcast, but that was a slapping kick by Jackson. Sounded like somebody hit Peek across the stomach with a belt. <coughs> He, to his credit, didn't even blink. Again, head control for Peak. See if he gets the hand position that he wants. Jackson, good job fighting the hands again. He's up the middle for Jackson. Jackson done a nice job of fighting his way off the cage using varied techniques this evening. 
Doesn't always go to the same thing. And again, Jackson busy with the knees when he has his back on the cage. Good job of letting it not be just a defensive position. Able to get the takedown, works his way into back control. Jackson showed some patience there. Let the position happen. Nice job by the victory MMA fighter. 10 second clacker. Jackson again gonna end the round having solid control. Not gonna be able to finish it out here. To round three we go. Supplement Giant is Colorado's number one source for sports nutrition. They serve vitamin supplement shop, shopping and retail. That's Supplement Giant of Colorado. My mistake, that was the third round. Oops. Too much running back and forth between commentary and cage announcing. Go and uh, grab the scorecards and I will see you guys from inside the cage. We have the judge's decision, ladies and gentlemen. Judge Tyrone Short scores about 30-27. Judge Joseph Mason scores about 29-28. Judge Curtis Thrasher scores about 30-27. Your winner by unanimous decision, Zarek Jackson! Derek Jackson now, who's walking away with a 170-pound title belt tonight. How's it feel to have that belt? Good, real good. <laughs> you remain undefeated. You got the belt. What what can we expect next from you? Uh, more training, and uh, I think I'm scheduled for the uh, Army versus Marines. So be sure to get your tickets for that too. All right, so lots more training, preparing for a card in April. Do you have an opponent yet? Uh, Josh Cordova, I believe. All right, guys, Zarek Jackson versus Josh Cordova. We'll look forward to that in April. Do you have anyone you want to thank tonight? Uh, just my coaches, uh, my girlfriend, all um, my family that came, uh, even the people that didn't. Y'all show love. Appreciate that. Thank you. That's for us. Congratulations on your win. Great job. Great.